All right. So, yeah, this was this was definitely something today. I mean, let me let me tell you, let me tell you, week week five. Yeah, we're we're on we're on the trail. Week five, week four was you know crazy. I mean, Christian McCaffrey is unstoppable. Yeah, the rest of the 49ers offense is really something too. But you know, it's Christian McCaffrey. Um, Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen, you know, they pick Miami's defense apart. And then you have Michael Hyde, you know, on the other side of the ball and other guys as well. You know, it, it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, I have no idea how Zach Wilson and the Jets stayed competitive with Kansas City. But then, you know, once you figure out that Kansas City, you know, doesn't have the same weapons they do as last year. Kelsey's still there, but everybody else is kind of iffy still in a way. Except for Pacheco. Pacheco lit up the Jets. I know. Crazy, right? On um, the Bears, they're truly terrible. I don't know what's wrong with Cincinnati. Maybe it's Joe Burrow's injury that's been nagging him. I don't know. I don't know how the Vikings won a game either. I really don't. I don't know. Uh, Puka Nakua, he is that guy. Jordan Love is not that guy. He's not. Jordan Love is not it. He is not him. Puka Nakua, though... He's doing he's doing great things so far. Doing great things so far in the NFL. And then you know, watched in Philadelphia. You know that was a really really fun game. You know in which AJ Brown decided to light up the Commanders, but the Commanders fought back as well. You know I didn't put that in the little notes that I had here. Um, so yeah, you know the really good games, of course. You know, my Cowboys easily took care of business. You know. Um, again, no, no digs, but, but, you know, the defense was on point yet again, you know, uh, Bland stepped up, Van Der Esch, you know, took back a fumble recovery touchdown, Mac Jones played like trash, like, I, I don't get it at all, I mean, Cowboys played pretty good, Cowboys played pretty good. And again, you know, Taylor Swift hype, it's annoying. It's really annoying, but it's fine. Gets more people into the game. I mean, what can I say? Um, you know, what else can I say, you know, aside from AR5, Anthony Richardson? He's been proving us wrong, man. Rams in the Annapolis game was really, really good. You know, I was able to watch that towards the end as Miami Buffalo was getting out of hand. Really good game. Um, so, yeah. Um, I got some things to say about week five. I don't know if it's going to be everything. You know, the Bears, they're playing on Thursday night against the Commanders. Again, the Commanders good. Sam Howell plays pretty good football, you know, most of the time when he doesn't throw interceptions or anything like that. He plays pretty good football. Again, the Bears, they're terrible. I don't understand. I don't get it. We still have to suffer through at least one or two more Bears games in prime time. And, and, this, is, and this is one of them, so, you know. You're trying to watch this game. I hope you're a Chicago Bears fan trying to watch this game. I'm not watching this. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's teams like the Jets, the Broncos, the Vikings, um, the Raiders, and, and Green Bay are playing in the Monday night game. You know, why, why are these teams in primetime windows, if I may ask? Yeah, I get it about the Raiders. Yeah, I get it. Jimmy G wasn't playing, you know, and it had to be Aiden O'Connell. Playing against the Chargers, who again, by the way, almost chargered the game away um, against Las Vegas. But in the end of the day, the Chargers won. Uh, yeah, so it's it's a struggle to talk about some of these teams right now because some of these teams truly are terrible. Some of these teams truly are the definition of bad. Like again, you know. Jets are pretty bad. The Giants are absolutely awful. I haven't even talked about the Giants yet because, oh, my goodness, Daniel Jones was running for his life yet again against Seattle. And Seattle doesn't really have the toughest defense on the face of the planet. They have a really good defense, but it's not the toughest defense on the face of the planet. And yet Daniel Jones is just running around for his life back there. You know, again, it was rough yet again for the Giants. You know, um, so, yeah. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see. You know, uh, there are some other interesting games Sunday, like Tennessee, Indianapolis got interesting all of a sudden because, you know, 
the only guy that really matters on Tennessee's offense finally woke up. King Henry, he woke up. And again, AR5, Anthony Richardson, he's been playing some good football. Um, you know, not not everything's perfect from him, but he's playing he's playing better than what I thought initially, you know. Um, what else? What else is there? Oh, yeah, Philadelphia and the Rams, you know, Puka Nakua, A.J. Brown, and Devontae Smith, and Tutu Atwell. Just really good receiver matchups against, you know, some, you know, more so the Rams receivers against Philly's defense, you know, it's been kind of struggling along sometimes, especially against Washington. You know, they've been kind of, they be, you know, Slay and company haven't really been doing as great as they were last year, and especially the offense. The offense has felt like kind of a step back a little bit in some ways. People are going to keep talking about the tush push, but in reality, you know, Philly's offense has kind of regressed a little bit, but they're still pretty powerful. Just a little bit. It's not It's not as bad as a drop-off as Kansas City, which is why I think Philadelphia could still make a run at things, but it's not completely sound like, say, the 49ers or, you know, and, you know, even the Cowboys are a little bit more put together in some ways, but, like, Cowboys and Eagles are kind of even, and I know that's probably going to make a lot of people angry when I say that, you know, especially my fellow Cowboy fans, but we're kind of even with the Eagles right now, like, you know, I think we might split. We might split those games, and I'm going to be angry at whichever one we lose. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Dak versus Brock Purdy. Uh, Tony Pollard, CMC. You know, Brendan Ayuk, Debo, Kittle, CD, Gallup. And, and the Cowboys' rotation of tight ends. Defensive side, Bosa versus Parsons. It's, 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 it's just juicy in all the right ways, this game, between the Cowboys and the 49ers. It just caps off a great Sunday. Uh, you know, early games, you know, there's some hidden gems in there. Again, you know, Pittsburgh, Baltimore may be a little bit closer than we think because it's an AFC North game. Uh, but definitely check out, you know, B. John Robinson and the Atlanta Falcons, who are still trying to figure out what kind of offense they're, you know, trying to um, articulate because not everything's working for Atlanta. And of course, you know, CJ Stroud and everything like that in that game as well. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, again, Tennessee, Indianapolis. Um, of course, that London game in which the Jags, who beat Atlanta in London are, are going to have a really good game against the Bills who are red hot. You know, Jags defense stepped up in major ways against Atlanta, and I think they might be able to do it again, but we'll see. And the Toy Story game, I know a lot of people really didn't care for it, but it was fine. It was fine. Nothing I can really complain too much about. It, it's it's not good, but, you know, I, I genuinely don't have enough to say about it to really, you know, go off and have you know, some kind of opinion about it. So, uh, yeah, whatever. It's whatever. So, yeah, that'll, that'll do it from here. Um, so big boy is signing out, and I'll see you soon.